Most strange creatures live in the deep waters of the ocean, and lots of them are potentially lethal to human beings. And sometimes you wouldn't even imagine which ones are the most dangerous of them all. From a seemingly harmless snail to the biggest predatory fish in the world, here are 15 things if you see in the ocean you should get out of the water right away. Number 15. Humpback Whale Humpback whales are extremely big. They usually range from 12 to 13 meters long, and they weigh approximately 40 short tons. Their powerful flippers are about a third of the longitude of their entire body, and they're very narrow and long, which makes them easily recognizable. You can find humpback whales at the coasts of every ocean, and they occasionally swim along the shore. Although these whales don't feed on anything bigger than krill and small fish, they are the most acrobatic species of whales, which means they jump out of the water with extreme force and grace. But if you're an inexperienced diver, you should always try to stay as far away as possible. Having such a massive tail hit you is dangerous business. They have never presented an aggressive behavior towards humans, but their body mass is so spectacular an encounter can easily end in tragedy. So if you're an ultra fan of the humpback whales and you can't pass on an opportunity of watching them in their natural habitat, make sure you're surrounded by experts and trained divers to protect you. These gentle giants can sometimes underestimate their own strength and cause harm without wanting to. If you see this in the ocean, get out of the water right away. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Moray Eel Moray eels are very intriguing creatures, but they definitely need their space respected, and here is why. In Indonesia, some divers even saw a gigantic moray eel attacking and eating a white tip shark. They're colorful and beautiful, but they have sharp teeth and they'll appear out of nowhere and bite you if you get too close. They mainly hide in the coral reefs and in the crevices in the rocks, so it's very important to watch out for them and to keep your hands to yourself. If not, be prepared to have a full set of knife-like teeth in your hands or arms. Moray eels are very highly skilled hunters, and if they feel threatened, they tend to be quite short-tempered. So always scuba dive with someone that's experienced when you enter their territory. If they can take down a shark, they will have no issue taking down an unaware diver. Moray eels are very fast swimmers as well, so you won't see them coming. And because they are covered in a mucus layer, it's extremely hard to get a hold of them. They are incredibly slippery. In conclusion, moray eels are very nice to look at, but from a safe distance. Number 13. Needlefish Needlefish might not look very dangerous or fierce, they're not the biggest animal in the oceans or the scariest looking, but they have already claimed several human lives. They have a very elongated and slender body, but they have a long beak full of extremely sharp teeth that can inflict serious and deep puncture wounds. In tropical waters, they live near the shore. They primarily feed on smaller fish, catching them sideways with their beak and then swallowing them head first. And some species of needlefish can even skim out of the water and roam the surface for a few yards. So if you were being attacked by one of these beautiful creatures, not even getting on dry land would save you. In 1977, a needlefish attacked a 10-year-old boy in Kauai, and it struck him near his right eye. The boy was fishing on a boat with his father, but there was nothing anyone could do. The fish's beak penetrated the boy's skull so deeply it actually reached his brain. Tragically, the boy died. The biggest needlefish can reach up to 5 feet long, while the smallest can only grow up to 2 inches. So if you ever encounter one of the bigger species, get out of the water as fast as you can.
Number 12. Tiger Shark Sharks can come in many different species, and only one of them isn't dangerous to humans. But the tiger shark might just be amongst the most dangerous marine animals out there. And it isn't the biggest or the strongest of the shark species. What makes the tiger shark so dangerous is his personality. It is the most aggressive shark out there. It lives worldwide in tropical waters and predominantly near the coasts. It gets its name because of the characteristic vertical lines that cover the sides of its body so at least they're very easy to spot. They can reach the staggering length of 18 feet and can weigh as much as nearly a metric ton. And not only are they extremely aggressive predators, they also eat just about anything they find, even other sharks. They don't have the habit of attacking humans, but they would not hesitate if needed. In some areas, tiger sharks have attacked people, and due to their immense size, it can easily end in fatalities. Although it is important to note that attacks on humans are very rare, they are still a very powerful predator, and if you're not experienced and you happen to see one in the water near you, you would be very wise to immediately get out of the water. Number 11. Reef Stonefish the stonefish, like its name suggests, looks exactly like a stone at the bottom of the sea. It is a master of camouflage. Even the most experienced people have a really hard time spotting them. They literally hide in plain sight. They bury themselves in the sand waiting for a fish to swim by, and then they quickly open their jaws and catch it. And the fish never knew what hit them. The stonefish isn't a very pretty animal, it isn't aggressive at all, and it's also quite small. They are very happy just laying there all day long without moving a muscle. So what makes them dangerous for us? Well, it is the most venomous fish in the world. So if you're walking barefoot in the sea and you happen to touch a stonefish, its powerful toxin will immediately enter your system. So in addition to being nearly impossible to spot, they are extremely deadly. Not a good combination at all. So much so, the reef stonefish is believed to be the deadliest fish in the sea. So if you live near the waters of the Red Sea or the Indo-Pacific Ocean, stay aware of its powerful venom. Number 10. Flower Urchin don't get fooled by the pretty appearance of the flower urchin, they are considered one of the most venomous sea urchins in the world. And for further irony, the part that's deadly is precisely its beautiful, fancy flowers. Each flower in the flower urchin is indeed a spine filled with a very powerful toxin that can cause unbearable pain and even paralysis in humans. They are found primarily in tropical Indo-Pacific waters, so if you ever wander on those waters, be sure to not get too close to these beautiful yet hostile sea bouquets. They aren't very big, and thankfully their colorful exterior makes them quite easy to spot. They possess hundreds of little spines ready to sting whoever dares to touch it. And animals that coexist with them know this very well, so much so you will rarely see fish swimming near them. In nature, when something is very colorful, it's usually to warn off predators, letting them know they are venomous, and the flower urchin is no exception. They are very pretty to look at, but never to touch. Number 9. Stingrays did you know that stingrays' skeletons are made out of the same bone-like material as your ears? It's called cartilage, and it's a semi-flexible protein found in some animals. That's why they're soft and malleable, and that's why they can swim so gracefully. But don't be fooled. At the end of their tail, the stingrays have a very powerful, toxin-filled barb, and when they feel threatened, they can lift it up and injure their potential predators. So whatever you do when you're swimming nearby a stingray, do not act in a threatening manner. Otherwise, you can expose yourself to a serious injury so much so that it is potentially lethal. It's also important to note that stingrays are closely related to sharks, which means they are quite skilled predators themselves. They don't usually attack humans, but it's never impossible that it could happen. Stingrays also like to bury themselves in the sand to hide from potential predators, so it's sometimes hard to spot them. So if you're scuba diving and you see the sand moving, it might be a stingray and you should get out of the water immediately. Number 8. 
Cone Snail When people think of snails, what usually comes to mind is a tiny, slow, and delicious in garlic butter creature. But the reality is that there are over 40,000 different species of snails on the planet, and they are not all as harmless as your ordinary garden snails. The Cone Snail is a 6-inch toxic killer, and it lives in the waters of Southeast Asia. This is a perfect underwater predator that successfully hunts down fish on a daily basis. The Cone Snail is equipped with a long harpoon made out of modified teeth which harbors a toxin strong enough to kill a grown man. The venom has the ability to instantly paralyze its prey, making it very easy to feast on them while they're still alive. Cone snails are not in the habit of attacking humans, but it's important to note that they are quite difficult to see when they're hiding under the sand, and if someone happens to walk by barefoot, the snail will defend itself with its only weapon, the lethal poison. If not treated immediately, it can easily result in a tragic death. Number 7. Saltwater Crocodile the saltwater crocodile is a hypercarnivorous apex predator, which means it doesn't have natural predators in its natural habitat. It also means that it'll eat pretty much everything and anything you put in front of them. They don't have a particular taste for human flesh, but they are known for being aggressive towards people if they feel threatened. That's why they're considered as a major danger for people that share a habitat with them. Any other apex predator that dares to wander anywhere near their territory will feel feel the full wrath of their powerful bite, and humans are no exception. Marine crocodiles mainly live in warm waters, and they are the largest species of crocs in the world. Their bite is extremely strong and deadly. They will not let go of their prey or their enemy. The saltwater crocodile often goes to the coastline to sunbathe in order to raise its blood temperature, and that's when the majority of accidents happen. When a wild crocodile isn't used to the sight of humans, they can consider them as a threat and therefore attack. Number 6. Blue Ringed Octopus the blue ringed octopus is exceptionally mesmerizing. It has beautiful electric blue rings all over its body with a yellow background. But as with most extremely colorful creatures on this earth, it's a way to warn off predators because they usually harbor a very powerful venom strong enough to kill anything in its natural habitat. They are one of the most venomous marine animals in the world. Not only is it a master of camouflage, but of disguise as well. It can imitate a very large range of creatures, rocks, and algae. So if you ever catch in the corner of your eye the telltale blue and black rings of this octopus, you better get out of the water immediately. Blue ringed octopus can be found in tide pools and coral reefs in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, all the way from Japan to Australia. Although they are a quite docile species, when handled badly, it can feel threatened and change its color dramatically. And that's when it's time to go, because this octopus's neurotoxin can be fatal to people. So it's always best to leave them be. Number 5. Lionfish the lionfish is a carnivorous fish native to the Indo-Pacific Ocean. It's very colorful and beautiful, but it has a deadly secret. Even though they're very slow moving, they are full of venomous spines, and that is why they have no known predators. Since 20 years ago, there have been many sightings of lionfish in the Atlantic Ocean coasts, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Caribbean Sea. They are thought to have been released there by pet owners after realizing the lionfish would eat all the other fish in their tanks. And this is a massive issue because it's disturbing entire ecosystems as well as harming unaware divers. Where they come from, everybody knows to stay far away from the lionfish. But in the Atlantic water, some scuba divers might be mesmerized by its tropical appearance and get too close. Like its name suggests, lionfish hunt in packs, just like the big cat they're named after. And because this strategy is so rare and so successful, there's not much their prey can do to save themselves. If you ever see a beautiful lionfish in the water, be sure to stay far away from it. Number 4. Pufferfish 
This cute little fish is one of the most threatening fish in the sea. When they feel in danger, they simply, well, puff up. They can become a little ball of spines drifting away out of control in the water. But this bizarre technique is extremely effective for one hidden reason. They are extremely poisonous. They inflate by swallowing lots of water and keeping it in their stomach, so they're basically poisonous spiky water balloons. But not the kind you want to throw at your friends in a water balloon war, if you don't want to end up in the hospital, of course. When they puff up, they can expand up to three times their size. And in order to do that, they don't have any ribs. Their bodies are laced with a toxin called tetrodotoxin, and it is 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. That means that one little puffer fish can kill 30 adult people. That powerful defense mechanism makes them the second most poisonous invertebrate in the world. Knowing all this, the normal response to seeing one would be to keep as far away as possible. But actually, puffer fish are a delicacy in Japan. That's right, they eat them. Apparently, the thrill of it potentially killing you is what makes eating fugu, as they call it, so exciting. Number 3. Great Barracuda the Barracuda is one of the fastest fish in the sea. They can swim at speeds of 36 miles per hour. And to be even scarier, some species of Barracuda form schools of thousands of individuals. Just imagine what it would be like to have such a massive group of fish swimming at you with such great speed. Because of their size and speed, the Great Barracuda does not have any natural predators, and they could be greatly dangerous for us as well. These species of Barracuda can reach up to 5 feet in length, and because they are carnivorous predators, they also have massive teeth in their mouths. Their bodies are literally designed for speed, so you would never see them coming. They have never attempted to feed on people, but if they are provoked, Barracudas tend to be pretty aggressive even with humans, so if you happen to run a Cross one while swimming, it would be very much advised to get out of the water unless you're a highly trained diver with experience with these animals. Number 2. Box Jellyfish Box jellyfish are extremely dangerous. They can swim at 20 feet per minute and they produce a venom that is excruciatingly painful and that can be lethal to humans. A fully grown box jellyfish can measure up to 8 inches long, but their tentacles can be 10 feet in length. They have about 15 tentacles laced with venom in each corner. That is a lot of venom. These creatures are so deadly, there have been reports of them killing a great white shark. They have a complex nervous system and a relatively advanced sensory system compared to other jellyfish, which means they have an active, fish-like behavior. They can avoid obstacles and swim directly where they want to go. And that's why human fatalities are quite common. In Australia specifically, there are deaths each year attributed to the box jellyfish, and in the Philippines, an estimated 20 to 40 people die each year from their sting. These are not your normal jellyfish. Their sting can kill a grown man and they usually travel in very large groups, so where you see one, there might be hundreds more. If you ever see a box jellyfish and they are recognizable by their box shape, you should get out of the water immediately. Although they are mesmerizing to look at, their tentacles can reach very wide and you would need immediate medical attention if you wanted to survive. Number 1. Great White Shark Great whites are the biggest species of shark out there. They can grow up to 20 feet in length, and they weigh 5,000 pounds at maturity. It is the absolute apex predator of the sea. They have no natural predators aside from, occasionally, the killer whale. They are single-handedly responsible for the majority of bites on humans than any other species of shark. They are absolutely powerful and perfectly designed to hunt. 
They don't like the taste of human flesh, but accidents can happen, because when they get very curious about us, and they tend to bite out of curiosity, usually after the first bite, they simply swim away. But a bite from these gigantic animals can be fatal to us, given the size of their jaws. They are the world's biggest predatory fish, and they eat pretty much anything. They have 300 knife-like teeth that can cut through metal without problem. Female great whites are larger than the males, and the biggest ever recorded has been named Deep Blue, and it's estimated that she's about 50 years old. Great whites are not aggressive towards humans, but they are extremely strong, and accidents do happen often. So if you see the characteristic shark fin in the water, go back on the boat as fast as you can. As you can see, the world's waters are infested with creatures that can kill you, so keep that in mind before going swimming the next time you're at the beach. Have you ever had a close encounter with any of these animals? Let us know. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.